one of the major conversations today um, when looking at treating cancer, the new drug interventions that are coming out into the market and um, the medical advancements when it comes to cancer care is patient reported outcomes. We are moving into a world which is more patient centric where we are taking into consideration the various factors that affect uh, a patient's quality of life and how that actually affects response to treatment and treatment adherence. So patient reported outcomes and patient reported measures are becoming a clinically validated tool in treating cancer and in reporting the outcomes of how the patient is responding to treatment. There are multiple trials, clinical trials, that include quality of life measures and patient reported outcomes a part of the trial protocol because of the impact that these various factors that affect quality of life has on the drug itself. Um, when it comes to oncology, we used to live in a world where it was very symptomatic. The tumor was looked at independently without really any attention on how a patient felt, what were the nutritional deficiencies of the patient, uh, what were the physical discomforts and distresses of the patient, um, and what were the psychological and emotional constraints that the patient felt and would feel when going through that drug regimen. And we never really understood that these factors actually have a massive impact on the drug and the treatment regimen itself. Today, it's so different. And today, so much science is supporting the use of these modalities, which are non-clinical in nature, which is uh, the inclusion of nutrition, um, the inclusion of physical rehab and physical therapy for patients who are on treatment and post-treatment to manage um, you know, physical discomforts such as pain, lymphedema, fatigue, weakness, so on and so forth. Um, and then of course the mental health part of it. What we have found also in Cairo is that while we take care of the entirety when it comes to the non-clinical elements, which are essentially the quality of life of a patient and the patient reported um, measures that I am talking about, it really begins and ends with the importance of the psychological state of a patient and their family members, because the family members pay play a very important role in the healing environment of the patient. They influence and expedite the healing of a patient. We have time and again noticed that the state of a patient's mental and emotional uh, level has a massive impact on how the patient adheres to the treatment regimen, how the patient responds to the treatment and the drug protocol, and how the patient actually improves in terms of quality of life and, and actually speeding up the healing and recovery um, of their cancer journey. So one thing that we stuck to was always um, assessing and monitoring the quality of life measures, today called patient reported measures and patient reported outcomes. And we see more and more evidence of these outcomes and these measures becoming almost taking equal footing in the importance of understanding the uh, drug efficacy and the response to treatment. And that is why when we work with patients and we are providing a drug regimen or a treatment regimen, if these factors are ignored, then you are missing out a very large element of supporting the patient in responding to the treatment, adhering to the treatment, and overall healing and recovery. The patient will not have comprehensive holistic care and healing if patient reported measures and quality of life measures are not included in the drug regimen and the cancer treatment protocol.